Does anyone want some gloves? Let's go get him some gloves. Safety first. Hey, yeah. What's three days, two days, was it Thursday we were up here last and it's now Sunday. Um, didn't do anything Friday or Saturday because we've had my friend up, Kevin. Hey, hi everybody. I've been great fun. <laughs> <laughs> so, me and Kev, whenever we get together, we um, we go out on the booze, so. Oh. Yeah. So yeah, the, uh, we had a, a day on the booze yesterday and we're suffering right. a day, aren't we Kev? Yeah. And Steve. <laughs> <laughs> We're now sweating out, but uh, got a little bit done. Let's have a take it down. Let's go and have a look. So look at the state of my plot now. Look at it. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. So this is what we've done. So Kev been uh, with the bushwhacker. It cleared right through, uh, and we just kept finding metal poles everywhere sticking out the ground. So, uh, spending a good 10 15 minutes getting them out before we then can move on. And then, of course, we now found this. Uh, so, another compost little bin that he's had, and then you can see this one here, uh, and it goes right the way around, right the way around. So this was his compost bin as well. So we tried to um, come in from the other side now. And when we were coming in from the other side, we found all this wood, bucket, wheelbarrow, which has all been in there. Um, big pane of glass that, um, lucky enough it was laminated and we, um, we hit it with the, the brush cutter and it only, uh, it's only shattered it. So uh, that's it for today. Um, that's been hard work. So uh, what I primarily want to do is, like I say, get this, get all the brambles out of that now. And then, um, and then we'll then chuck everything, all the other brambles, and compress it down and get it all contained in this corner. And then we'll move this bin and put it somewhere else, probably put it here. Uh, and then we can start using that clearing as we go. So we've got some good wood here. Good wood, good wood. Isn't that where they do the horse racing? So these are gonna make good fence panels. So I'll take the wood off this side, because uh, it's on both sides. And I'll build a, um, a nice fence along here and up maybe have a little gate so that we can go into it and then the idea is to then like I said clear out all the front so we get it all nice flat and level and um, put a nice fence all the way down as well and it's not until me and Kev's been looking down the bottom here that we've realized how big this plot really is and it's going to be a lot of work, a lot of work. So let's go down, let's take you down. Oh my word. Oh. So you can see at this end it gets a little bit slimmer. So there's the fence there and then we've got the bush here. But if we look into the bush, it, um, you can't really see but it's Take it from me, it's another five or six foot that way that you can see the fence. So uh, we're going to have to get a, um, the old edge cutter and uh, just cut all this back. Try and try and reclaim a good another four foot, but that's going to be, oh my word, that might be next, that might be next year. Because as I said, what I want to try and do is um, get half of it done. Uh, and then once we've got the half of it done, we can then start placing the sheds, uh, working out the plots, have it usable so we can start planting, and then crack on with the other half. So it uh, gives me something to do. So Because at the minute, like I said, as you know, on my last plot, we was that up to tidy. I was um, 
I was waiting for weeds to pop their heads out so I could weed them. So it's definitely got me work cut out, so let's go back up and see Kim and Kev. But yeah, this is so dangerous around here. It's like I was saying, you with this bit. You know? I mean, look at that. Look at, look at a hole here. Losing your footing and impaling yourself on this. Yeah, that wouldn't be good, would it? So, definitely, definitely don't want to be on this plot on your own. You can be thinking, why didn't he come home for tea? And I'm being impaled on a pole. But yeah, look at the, the wood and the, the metal work that we've pulled out. Three core cable, wire. Oh. Uh, yeah, and obviously we're going to do this side, which adjoins Ike's allotment. He wants us to keep the um, uh, these ones, obviously the one without the prickles, but I'm taking the whole lot out, not having it. And then we'll run a fence down there. Because that, all that's going to do is just um, block me sunlight. So, let's go back up and see what the Kevin Kim's up to. Oh. Oh. Suffering. No headaches, though. Well, why would I have a headache? I didn't do nothing. Where did you get these from? No, because you're never invited out, Kim. No, oh, I know. It was a boys night out, wasn't it, Kev? Yes, most fact, definitely. In fact, it was a boys day out, wasn't it? Yeah, and a bleeding good one. Yeah. What were we were trying to do, the world's end, which is ten, yeah. ten pubs. Ten pubs, we must have done nine out of ten on the one street. Yep. Yeah. And then we did another three. Yeah. And uh, three or four in the high street. Yeah. But out of them, well, 12 pubs, we had just 16 bites. <laughs> yeah, well, I didn't. He did. <laughs> And a snake bite. <laughs> yeah, so that was what, I passed one till I passed one in the morning. Yeah, yeah, about. Yeah. We don't do it often, sort of once every three months. Yeah. And um, yeah, drinking's not good for you anyway. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. So, my tomato plant's not looking too bad. May have been able to rescue that one. Which is good, which is nice. Uh, it's a shame, like I say, a shame about the others. But we've just picked two cucumbers today. Uh, got another two that'll probably be ready in about three days. Uh, these ones will probably be another week. And he might be another sort of two weeks, that one. So yeah, we're still, still getting the cucumbers. But that's that. So until all this week, so like I say, what's it, Bank Holiday Monday tomorrow. Kev's still with us until Bank Holiday Monday, so we probably won't get up here tomorrow. And then won't blame me. Ah, uh, blame you. <laughs> and then um, be from Tuesday, Tuesday onwards, and I'll try and get that bush completely cleared out. Uh, start burning the bramble. And start burning the bramble. The Wilfrids. Shall I? Shall I burn it? Oh, I should burn it. Yeah. Mind you, we have got. You need to transport all that into the middle of your new one and burn it. And we have got a fire station just up the road, so just in case. Because yeah. knowing me, old Frank Spencer will probably set everything to, uh, put, set everything alight. I guess I put that on a compost, it's going to take ages to decompose. Yeah. So I would say burn the majority of it, and put what's left over on the compost. There we go. I'm no expert, but that's what I'd do. Well, if you know of a better way, we should dispose of it. Yeah. I'll put it in the back of a car and take it down a tip. Bonus now, now. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see you later on. See you later, bye. bye. Say bye, Kim. Bye, everyone. Bye, all. Have fun. We back and hop, and as happy as I can be. Boom, boom, boom.